So today we're going to talk about the NFL, how the contracts are set, and why when players ask for more money, for some reason, people who love watching these players are so far against these players getting the money that they ask for. First, it's a classic classism machine. You have billionaires convincing people who make less than a million dollars a year that players who are playing for their lives, their health, this is just a game and these guys get paid too much. Overall, the NFL collects at least $9 billion a year just from TV deals. You don't have a TV deal if you don't have players that are worth watching. That's a huge problem because at the point of the salary cap, these teams each collect more in TV deals alone than they pay out in salary cap. So what is the problem with playing the players? Salary cap is created by the owners who fight to keep it down every time there's a new CBA negotiated. The NFL claims to be so patriotic. Well, the military came to the NFL and convinced the NFL to have players on the field for the national anthem. Previous to that, all of the players who were in the locker room getting their final instructions from the coach during the national anthem. In return, the NFL has operated tax-free for at least 90% of the years that it has been running. Only recently in the last five or 10 years have they actually started paying tax. I don't understand why it's a problem for fans to be worried about how much a player is making because as a person, you want to maximize your value at all times. You go to work, if they'll pay you 40, you wouldn't take 35. You might take the 40 and ask them if they can afford 45. There's nothing keeping NFL players from fully guaranteeing contract, uh, NFL teams from fully guaranteeing contracts. I mean, the coaches have fully guaranteed contracts. They fire a coach. His contract was for 50 million. He goes home for the next three years and he still paid that 50 million. Regardless of, you know, how bad he performed, he still gets paid that. You have players like DeMar Hamlin who nearly died on the field. The Buffalo Bills were gracious enough to pay him his full contract, but many teams don't. And that seems to be pretty normal and pretty okay. People understand that if a guy gets hurt and can't play the rest of his years, that the team won't, play, won't pay him. So why can't a guy get a fully guaranteed contract if he doesn't know at any second it could be his last breath on the field. We've witnessed at least four players get fully paralyzed playing the game of football. To never play the sport again. Some of them to never walk again. I mean, it's, it's just, it baffles me. Players' contracts, they sound like big money. Patrick Mahomes signed, what, $450 million? And now at this point, most people are saying, well, he did the Chiefs a favor by signing that contract. But when it first came out, it was record-breaking. Some people couldn't believe that the Chiefs thought that he was worth that money. No, they paid him that money before he became worth even more than they could afford to pay. It wasn't them doing him a favor. It was them protecting themselves by offering him a long contract with what was a lot of money at that point in time, which is now just, I mean, it's just average. In a couple years, it'll be seen as pennies. They'll probably have to renegotiate with him pretty soon to keep him from holding out. And then the bad part about these contracts is if you have a contract and a team just decides for whatever reason, we are not going to pay you that money. They can cut you, take the dead cap hit, and understandably, just move on. Your pay stops. The only thing you're guaranteed is what you got guaranteed in that contract. And quite honestly, once they get to that point past those guarantees, they could just get rid of you, never look back, find somebody for cheaper. That's just my analysis on the situation. Let me know in the comments.